This is the July 2023 Energy Update. July's theme is asking, how did you become an empath? I'm Christine Gold, psychic medium, author, speaker, old soul healer, and soul purpose mentor. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Join us in a safe space the first Saturday of the month for authentic connections. Join us for season four of the Heart Led Soul Fed podcast. Unleash Your Magic group mentorship starts mid September. Isn't it time you followed your dreams? Share, like, subscribe, and comment. Let the healing begin. Hello, everyone, and happy, happy July to you. Yes, I'm Christine Gold, first and foremost, a holy child of God, just like you are, psychic medium, and, you know, all those other things that uh, I do. And really, it's, uh, you know, these are all things that we all have innately. Um, I like to remind my clients that... uh, (laughs) Everyone has these gifts, everybody. It's just a matter of choosing whether you want to develop them, to tap into them, to lean into them, to live a heart-led, soul-fed life, right? And that's why we're here. So if you're here live, uh, let us know, comment below what you're looking forward to in July. And basically, I just kind of tune in. I mean, I've been doing... Uh, this for the last, uh, oh my goodness, four years. Go way back and see my first video on YouTube. That's fun. Always to go back and look and see where you started and to celebrate where you are now. Um, So really, I just, I, I bring in a whole mix of everything because we are a whole mix of everything. So I'm just going to start with, um, numerology. I mean, I love numbers, always have. So July 1st, it reduces to a six and six is the embodiment of the heart and it represents unconditional love and the ability to support, nurture and heal. It is a powerful force of compassion and empathy. I mean, Brene Brown, you know, I, I, you know, she really brought compassion, empathy forward and authenticity. So it's a warm light. It's a beacon of hope. And its role is to use the heart and soul to be of service to others. Uh, the six is the in the major arcana of the tarot deck is the lovers. And Virgo, if you don't know, because I had to look, uh, is the sixth astrological sign uh, in astrology. You can also drop down, you know, are, are you a Leo? Are you a Virgo? Like, let me know what your signs are. Do you know what your sun, moon, and rising are? If you don't, go to astrology.com. And it's really handy to have your um, date of birth, clearly, but your time of birth. So, and if you don't know, maybe just, you know, kind of guess. I mean, it'll, it'll give you a, a couple things that really open up. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, I've been learning a lot. And I, truly, we're all students of the universe. Um, and July is asking this question. And, and I've seen this, you know, around uh, people are asking, how did you become an empath? Let me know. Are you an empath? Do you identify as an empath? <laughs> Funny. Um, a light worker, a healer, whatever it happens to be. Um, how, how did that come about? Uh, share with, with us. Uh, for me, <clears throat> you know, I'll be honest. It, you know, when I was asked this question, I was like, what? okay, I thought it was just born this way. Yeah, I I do believe that. But I also feel, um, you know, it's easy to imagine yourself as a natural empath. And and contrary to what most people believe, many empaths developed their powers, superpower, because they were exposed to traumatic events. And who did not have trauma in childhood? Right? Come on. 
So, you know, such as a woman, you know, who grow up with narcissistic parents, um, you know, a client of mine, she grew up with narcissistic and sociopathic parents, and they constantly made her question her reality and sanity. You might be going through this right now. So, and well, you know, that she's a reached adulthood in her late twenties, she can see that something good came out of it. Right. Whereas we think, you know, I can't do this. I'm a victim. And, you know, she could not be further than opposite of them both. I, you know, I'm extremely intuitive, empathic, psychic, um, hard on my sleeve. Um, and I really do thank God for it. Uh, because we know that this might be a tough question, but did you endure childhood trauma? Were you forced into situations that made you fall deeply into your emotions? Or did you completely shut off? That's another one. I mean, there's different responses, right? Did you have to learn to quickly read people? Oh, yeah, I was a reader. I was a people watcher. So you could protect yourself from harm. <laughs> this is, it's just, it's all coming full circle. Just like with any awakening, dark night of the soul, it's your journey and each journey is different and unique, just like you are. There is no right or wrong way. Please know that there is no right or wrong way. And if anybody tells you otherwise, you need to rethink why they're in your life. I know I do. <laughs> I've cleared out a lot of things, a lot of people, a lot, just a lot. Um, and it just makes things more clear when you don't have the outside world chattering in your ear. Okay. I'm just going to say hi. Yes. Hi, Gete, all the way from Denmark. Mwah. Happy July to you. Happy July. And uh, this is, you know, a beautiful community. Um, we're here to support each other. So if you're going through something right now, let us know. And and speaking of that, I, I wanted to talk quickly. I don't know if you've had a listen, but I've never had so much conversation about Schumann resonance. See this chart? Look at this chart. It's a global temperature. I have the video on YouTube. You can go have a look. Um, but I've never had, you know, I've been on doing this for four years and never had so many people comment, share watch. We're all going through this. We are all going through this ascension, this golden age, this um, chaos. I, I'm hearing that a lot, a lot of chaos, a lot of uh, phonetic energy, dreams are off the charts. I don't know if this is mine. And but here's the thing, it's coming at us again to see if we're paying attention, if we're healing if we're not taking it to heart and letting it take us down, because that's what happens. And I just happened to catch, I don't know whose podcast this is, but Russell Brand was talking about um, uh, the addicted. They know. Well, why do you think they're addicted? Why do you think they shut everything down? Because they know way more than the outside world does or what's going on. They are so tuned in that they tune out. I mean, it's all, it's pain. They're highly empathic and they don't know what to do with it. So they numb out, they check out, they become addicted. Um, I, I understand. I, I get it. I was all of those things. Whew. Um, so July... I, I just want to talk a little bit more about empath. So the strength that you cultivate from difficult experiences is your greatest superpower. Please know that. You did the exact opposite. Instead of becoming narcissistic, you became open, caring, and loving of others. And what else? You broke the chains. I love this. Generational trauma. You broke the chains of your suffering. And in turn, you helped others break free from their pain and suffering too. Not taking it on, but helping. That takes unbelievable emotional and mental strength, my friends. Be like water, resilient yet soft. 
firm but gentle and strong yet flexible. And as international best-selling author Elizabeth Kubler-Ross once said, and I love this, the most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way <laughs> out of the depths. And uh, the, these you know, people have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills them with so much compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. You know, beautiful people do not just happen. That's right. You'd be like, oh, baby, I was born this way. Yes, thanks, Lady Gaga. Um, but many focus on the outside beauty, right? And you know what? I, I've always said that, you know, it. <laughs> I, I get it. I dated people that were beautiful, but they were horrible inside. Oof, oof, oof. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, it, I just wanted to kind of pass that along to you. It'll be part of my blog. Uh, if you want to head to my website, christine.gold, it's pretty easy to find, pretty simple. Um, so now we're going to move. Um, we're going to move to uh, talking about retrogrades and planets. Who's interested in astrology? Come on now. Who's interested in planets? Who's interested in the stars? Did you come from a star system? We're all extraterrestrial, by the way. I truly believe that, right? I mean, just go and look at the Anunnaki, for example. Right? <laughs> I know mo my audience is, is pretty um, uh, aware of these things. And if you're not, hey, it, it's all good. So Pluto stationed retrograde on May 1st. Saturn retrograde June 17th. These are just recaps from last month. Neptune is, is fully stationed June 30th. And Venus is, you know, love. When you think of Venus, you think of love, right? It's coming up July 22nd. So I just wanted to share a little bit about Pluto. It is the shadow planet, the sign of death and rebirth. And it's really about unveiling hidden secrets. So in, in when it's in retrograde, you're going to see that more hidden things are coming to the surface. More, um, they're actually, because it's in retrograde, it's going to be fast changes, fast endings. Uh, society, it, it really, it's all about change and it's all, all about self-empowerment. So how are you not empowering yourself? It really, that's what they're asking. And um, and it rules Scorpio as well. So let me know if you're, you're feeling any of that. Um, I know that I am. <laughs> and Pluto's been there for a while too. Um, this one's always fun because it's in my sign, Capricorn. Like it was in, it was out. It's going to be in, you know, retrograde uh, in Capricorn as well until 2024, January 2024. Um, but Saturn is discipline, life lessons, the hard way. I always say, oh, you got to learn the hard way. Where the heck did that come from? Maturing you, authority, boundaries, responsibilities, right? We're, we're seeing all of this. And the government and systems, everything's falling apart. There's new financial systems coming on board. There's new ways coming on board. The way that we work, the way that we, t we heal, the way that everything is changing and dismantling. And you might be f noticing this, feeling this. There might be some fear coming in saying, you need to do this, you need to do that. Really, it's, it's about community. It's not just about yourself. So how can you make the spaces a better place? And then we're going to go into Neptune. And I just grabbed these graphics. Neptune rules Pisces. It's dreamy. <laughs> Super dreamy. That's probably why you're having some weird dreams. And it is a generational planet. And I love that, you know, it is in retrograde, so there's going to be more emotions coming up, more, more spiritual consciousness coming up, more addictions coming up, coming forward, psychic abilities coming on board. I mean, I, I'm finding I'm 
uh, coaching more and younger generation. You know, I, I'm getting uh, 20 year olds booking with me, which is exciting. I love this. I mean, to work with the younger, with the kids, basically, and the young adults, they're already preloaded. We can actually learn a lot from them. Despite what society wants to put labels on, I don't follow the program, never have. And Venus. <laughs> yeah, how you behave in relationships. I mean, that's really why we're here. And it is a water sign. So just look, if you're a water sign, you're, you're really focusing on romance, right? But it's in retrograde. So what's going on there? Fire signs, it's about people. Do you, I, do you have to be around people all the time? And, you know, who are you hanging out with? Earth sign, like myself, is picky. So how picky are you being? How are you not trusting? Why? What's going on with you? And air signs you know, being way too objective, almost into contemplation, <laughs> you know, uh, it's not wanting to move forward as well. And I also wanted to share this. I, I don't know, but if you follow A Course in Miracles, I do. I get these lessons every day. I've read the book a couple times, but Today's lesson, 177, and really I want to apply this to the month. It's interesting that two sevens came forward today. God is but love, and therefore so am I. There is no death. The, the children of God are free. God is but love, and therefore so am I. Now that we are one with God, who is our source, and everything goes back to love. When you're in fear, how can you flip it back to love? When you're in fight, how can you flip it back to love? What would love do? What would love do? I mean, would you talk to your grandchild, your children, or your pets the way that you talk to yourself? Or those people, strangers, whatever, if you're feeling triggered? It's just a good reflection point. Hello, Noor. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Let us know what you're looking forward to in July. I also want to give a shout out to my sister, uh, uh, Robin. This, you, you can't see the whole dress, but uh, she was in Portugal and she brought me. It's just so lovely. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I'll have to take a full length picture or get someone to take a picture for me. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, yeah. And, and then we're just going to go into a few of the headlines. I already talked about this. The song that uh, came up was That Was Yesterday by Foreigner. Good song. We've got that full super moon in Capricorn very shortly. I'm feeling it. My leg is feeling it. My leg is kind of like the Schumann re resonance. Uh, and then you've got the new moon in Cancer, July 17th. So, uh, yeah, share with us if you have a birthday, a birthday in, uh, in July. Happy solar return to my youngest. Today, he is 25. I, I, I'm sure like all parents, we, we were like, what happened? Where did it go? And I wanted to share this picture because I can <laughs> and I will. That was his first birthday. Um, I mean, and we're just going to celebrate a little bit. We're going to celebrate together. So yeah, I I love this picture. And then this this one was from a few years ago, but it's still lovely. <laughs> uh, he's always been my star. Uh, and uh, interesting, he has a shirt that has stars on it. So happy solar return, Connor. Um, very super proud. Um, he recently just got a job a couple months ago working... Um, 
as you know, he's part of uh, this homeless uh, shelter and uh, he's one of the, he works night desk. So he's kind of an angel. Um, he's so amazing. Um, I learned so much from him. He's an older soul than I am. So anyway, so I'm not going to get all, you know, <laughs> I'm going to start crying. Oh my God. Um, so I just uh, want to celebrate with you any birthdays uh, that you have. Any celebrations? Where are you going? Are you going anywhere for vacations? Anything coming up for you? We would love to celebrate that with you, of course. And um, yeah, I'm just going to get to the cards now. <laughs> uh, so feel free to drop a question, comment, uh, you know, share as well. And if you're on the replay, we're, we're not going to leave you either. So um, pull, we pulled already from the Light Sears Tarot just because for time, right? Time. And I, I find this fabulous that we pulled the hermit. I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I've felt uh, the last while with the energy going off the charts since Father's Day into the 7-7 seven, seven portal um, that we need to hermit more. We need to go within. And it's not because we're avoiding people. We, we need that time to disconnect, to reflect, to integrate, to um, level up. Um, and, and it's the light within here. Become your inner sage, inner mentor, inner guide, and show me the brightest light so that I may see all with my heart. And, and taking time away from the chaos, hermiting, you know, having a sanctuary, a hermitage, not a heritage. I think it was Carolyn Miss was talking about the hermit on her power of archetypes. Go and watch that. It's, uh, her work is amazing. I would love to see her one day. I know I will. Um, so really sacred aloneness and self-care. That's it. Uh, it's card number nine. It's a major arcana, meaning this is, you're put on notice to go within, to take care of yourself, to ignore the external fluff, to not be distracted to t fill your cup because you can't replace anything from an empty broken cup as I'm drinking out of my cup. Mm. And I just noticed, Oh, to me, it looked like a star, but it's a flower. <laughs> lovely, lovely. And uh, pulling from the shaman's dream Oracle. Love this deck. Uh, Cause I do have a past life as a shaman, um, as a Buddha. I mean, there was a reason I went to Peru <laughs> uh, last year. Um, and I, I've noticed Machu Picchu, they've changed things. They've, um, they're now selling tickets in groups and sections. So you're only able to go to this section. You can't actually wander all the way through unless you have four different tickets. I'm like, that's wow. I'm so glad I went last year because there was like a third of the crowd that was there. Um, and I'm not paying extra and it, there's no confusion. And anyways, everything happens for a reason. Card number 60, the watchers. I, I think of Red Rock when I see this. I see a lion on top of this. Serendipity being the observer and the witness. And when you're hermiting and, and practicing the hermit, you can be the observer. You can be the witness. And it is transpersonal. So get off the treadmill. The summer is a time to just lay in that hammock and do nothing, nothing. You don't have to do anything. You didn't miss anything. Step back. And it's talking about drama and it's talking about chaos too. These cards are so connected. So rise to divine coincidence, serendipity. Notice how the act of seeing the heart of the matter produces results. And things happen without you doing anything. It's when we're in that constant state of doing it, crushing it, la, la, la. Creation unfolds around us without us noticing. But when we step back and take time for ourselves, that's where we get the most amazing ideas, creative solutions, uh, manifestations, let me know if that resonates with you. Um, 
And interesting that it's, you know, uh, 669, you can do 609 as well. Um, so go and have a look at numerology if you're curious about what those numbers mean for you. <laughs> Thank you, Gitte. Yeah, congratulations. That's right. <laughs> I did it. I did it. You know, there's a lot of single parents out there. I was one too. Like Connor said to me the other day, you know, you were the mom and the dad. That I tend to lead on the masculine a lot more because I had to get shit done. Now I'm bringing it back to perfect alignment. The yin and the yang. Life force energy with the tenderness that comes with it. Right? And we're all learning this. We are all learning this. All right. Gosh, that was... That was so much fun. Um, I, I so enjoy sharing this energy. Let me know again. Um, I've got amazing, uh, you know, I've got it this morning routine that I put up on YouTube. As people are asking, what do you do every day? Well, I do a lot of things. <laughs> uh, but setting yourself up in the morning, taking your time out for yourself is so super important. Uh, we have our Soul Healing Retreat Center. It is manifesting. We've got people involved. We've got investors looking, uh, you know, the perfect, and I won't even say perfect, but the place will find us. Uh, the land will be sourced where it happens to be in the world. That is unknown and not for me to know, right? So uh, super important. And let me know what you're struggling with uh, right now. And I also have right, pretty much right after this, I've already left this in the comments, but we have authentic connections coming up pretty much right after this. It's a safe space for empaths, light workers, sensitives. It, we create community connections. Um, you know, we do a little bit of meditation. We talk about the energies uh, a little bit more. There might be some coaching. There, there might be some mediumship who knows there it's it's whatever needs to come up so um i would love to see you there either way and it's free people always ask is it free yes not everything is free but pretty much everything i you know i like to share a lot of free things just so people can get a taste of who i am and what i do and um and really and i'm super pumped I don't toot my horn enough, uh, but it's been five years since I became a medium, a psychic medium, and we're going to have a party only on YouTube though, and it's going to be a live Q&A. You can ask questions. There might be mediumship. There might be Reiki. There might be cards. There might be some coaching, and I might be giving away something as well, so uh, I'm figuring it's the third week of July, so stay tuned for that. If you don't subscribe to my YouTube channel, you might want to go and do that. All right, so let's see if there's anything else I would like to talk about. Um, no, I mean, I have courses coming up in September. It's a mentorship, um, and really it's about unleashing your magic. It's group eight weeks. And then I have uh, another one for people to really deep dive after the eight weeks. It's six month and one year. Uh, you know, maybe you want to tap into your psychic abilities. Maybe you want to be that healer. Maybe you want to just be the best mom or dad ever or human being, whatever that happens to be. We can work together. And I'd love to see you there. And as well, uh, uh, subscribe to the heart led soul fed show and podcast, you know, and if you really love it, please leave a review. I mean, I've had people on like Stephen Washington, Chris Reck, Sean Leonard, just to name a few people. Um, I mean, these people are, are changing, you know, not only their lives, but other people's lives. And that's why I got into what I, you know, I've been in sales for 20 plus years. I was always helping people. I was always solving problems. <laughs> now it's more about, you know, empowering others to help themselves to solve their problems. I am just a guide. I am not a guru. And 
I will also caution, I've seen a lot of scammers and scamming out there. And, oh, you know, if you just do this spell or um, I can get a, a read or, you know, from a reader and they'll, I've seen black magic and all these spells and all this stuff. This is just complete garbage, okay? Um, don't be throwing your, giving your money to someone who claims to be above you um, or gives you a quick fix. No, no, no. That is distraction. You got to do the work, okay? So look for someone you know, like, and trust. And this is not a cult as well, where I expect my uh, people that are working with me to stay with me forever, because I want you to grow and ascend. I want you to go somewhere else. And if you still support me, I, I'm sending lots of love. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm just cautioning. And I've seen some, um, I don't, not Tony Robbins, but people like that that have shifted from utilizing your mind and it's all about mind and your business and crushing goals and this and that to, Oh, we're going to focus on spirituality now. So they're spinning things. That is just a marketing ploy. Be very aware of that. Okay. They're going to try and speak at you and pull at your strings and use chat GTP and artificial intelligence to, you know, create the most fantabulous email or video, or whatever it is, a, a reel or a TikTok video to hook you into thinking you need that, or you're not, you're, you, you're nothing without this. It's not true. You already are. It's just a matter of saying, I want to empower myself. I want to, uh, I want to learn more. I'm a student of the universe. I've been drawn to this. I don't know why, but I'm going to follow it. Where, whereas it's not tapping, it's not that underground, that uh, devil type of energy. Not today, Satan. That's what I say. All right, enough of that. All right, I love you so much. Thank you, Stacy, for, for joining us. Sending everybody lots of love. And, uh, you know, I also want to share just one last thing about ego because really that's what that is. The ego embraces its name and lights. The spirit embraces the light within by Roberta Ross. So with anything, I leave you with that. Enjoy your July. I'm sending you lots of love and let the healing begin. <laughs>